Somebody uses words. You cast spells with words when you're writing that script. That you're casting sense. a spell on motherfuckers, man. And you put them under in a dreamlike state. Yeah, that's, that's Hollywood. That's like they hypnotize you with these movies. Hollywood, when, these movies that literally hypnotize you. Like especially when that emotional moment comes in the music. I mean, in the movie, and they playing that that emotional oh, music. Oh yeah, that oh uh -huh, And then yeah, they that's build up the emotions, and all yeah. the women start crying. Yeah. You know what I mean? They just got a spell. They got on. a spell cast on your ass, man. And not just that, they also have the music in the movies. They may take it to a dark room yeah. and film other creatures over. They do sacrifices to that shit. Yep, they do. More spells. We love yeah. America, so, don't you? And that's Steve Rogers right there. The scripture says, "Here's the brothers that's in." It's in the truth, it's Israel. Oh, that's Two thirds hate Israel. That's uh, what's why, up, man. bro? Uh, he really on, looked man. like a young Steve Rogers uh, right before he got his serum. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they don't come out with that. What's up? That's why they're going to be doing that shit all like that. You know, you know, we're the real, we're going to be some. Like, no, no Conan. You know, I was surprised to see that new Conan. I was surprised that new Conan is good. That's a bad good. movie. He was raping bitches then. That's a bad movie, too. He was just snatching bitches up, put them on his shoulder. That's I how he's supposed to do I was surprised to see that come out, man. I don't understand the why. It, it might be something, yeah, that I, might, I need to watch it again. That was sweet. There might be a lot of subliminal, subliminal shit in it. Yeah, there's some devil worship. He brought them that's hands movie. to his dad. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That was horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the heads. My son's gonna be in the kingdom, man. They're gonna be bringing me Esau's hand. He was better than Arthur. Damn, man. He was my ass. He was my Every flavor that he got his. Bring his hand to me. So they gonna good. be destroyed. He's a good son. Hey, that's a good way to get destroyed right there. This heathen, that, uh, you know what I'm saying? He could, he could be against his own people. You know, when you're young, man, a young lad, they got their fire in them. Especially if they're taught right, man. They got their. They got their when you get older, you. you you soften up a little bit, you know what I mean? Not soften up, you just, you become, you become older and you just become a little calmer. Yeah, more, more calm. More you become calmer. Yeah, what up, house? Especially like when we first started coming out, when we established our camp here, right? What up, bitches? They was always on fire. <laughs> I was always like, like they go crazy. Go crazy. <laughs> I'm in the spirit, like, you know, I'm cool and calm, you know? I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm in the spirit, I'm with them. <laughs> I, know, I, like I, I used to really be nothing. <laughs> I'm glad for Lord Dunn never come out I still, here. I still, get, I still do that. I go nuts right now. That was the fun, man. I can, I, man, I, that was the best days, man. That was the, I would never, ever want to replace our beginning how we came out, man. Nothing, nothing, I mean, come on, man. If you could only experience it with us, man, that was some fun shit. Oh, yeah, he's all asleep. That was some fun this shit. This is scripture where it says, raised the, the child pretty much in righteous, in righteous way, so uh, depart from it. That's yeah, that's right. Good. I get that. That's right. That's Deuteronomy right. 6. Right. Esau did the total opposite of that. And dogs all these children of wickedness. So now they can't even depart from it. Here goes Kobe. Look, look like Kobe Bryant. Uh, it's a weirdo. They're definitely weirdos. Hey, there's a bunch of bronies. pissed off about that. <laughs> <laughs> and dude had a fucking mullet. It's like a olive oil. It's a bad chapter, man. Okay. I want to I want to read the whole thing. I'm talking like about liquor. I want to read this whole thing. Man. It's all fire. Yeah, I like this chapter. Man. Okay. Um, I get mad because you can't read. There's so much fire in the Bible, you can't get it all out at once, man. Right. You be mad every time we go home. We mad because we ain't read enough. Right. Let me read this before I get it. Right. So Isaiah 24 and uh, 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, oh yeah, this shit is defiled. If this ain't defiled, I don't know what the defilement is. This shit is filthy out here. Everybody got gonorrhea. Mm. And really, this is like a gonorrhea epidemic, bro. It's been the news every day almost. Right. What kind of new strains of gonorrhea being found? It can't cure that shit. All you know what I'm saying? Concrete. All these bitches got AIDS. <laughs> bitches pussy stinks. <laughs> bitches are done. The, like all these bitches, you can't find a woman ain't got no kids. Well, every woman got a, uh, like five baby daddies. This, is, this place is defiled. That's a woman being, if a woman's been with more than one man, that bitch is defiled. Man, man you find a bitch now that ain't got no kids. She too old to have a party. Oh, yeah? You no, know, because they've been too busy working and partying. Yeah, you got Taking the morning after pill. I mean, but, how, but, how yeah, so, yeah. but how salty would you feel showing up at a party or something Stay with warm. a bitch with, with some kids that ain't yours? 
they be like, oh, those are your kids? And you be like, no, nah, they're not my kids. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I love them. I love them. Yeah, it's that same look, too. Man, that, that's a salty. Yeah, that's got to be a bad feeling, man. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just feel salty on some. That's some, that's defiling, man. Right. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the law. They transgressed the law. That's why this is defiled. Change the ordinance. And just, what do you do with a woman that's been defiled? When you read the law in uh, Leviticus, it said you put that bitch to death because right. she's been defiled. That's right. Just like if a woman uh, or a man committed a, a bestiality and they had sex with a horse, the horse has been defiled. So even though it wasn't the horse's fault, you still got to kill the horse because it right. got defiled. That's right. That's why America got That's defiled. Right. All right. these different heathen nations coming over here. You got Satanists and I mean, heathens. why does have you tested? Excuse me. You got all America's defiled because you got all this wickedness flourishing. You got goddamn Hindus and devil worshippers and Muslims all up in the same place, just hanging out together. Buddhists, Buddhists. You got motherfuckers doing yoga. You got, you got your wife talking about, I gotta go to yoga, baby. I'll be back later. Who the fuck go to some yoga, man? That's some goddamn heathen shit. But y'all act like it's so hot and hip. It's so cool. I'm doing some yoga like a fucking retard. They like everything exotic, like exotic food, Yeah, everything I'd be, yeah. be foreign, yeah. Right. That's, but, what they, that, that's what they fucked up at. That's why they fucked up at. That's how that shit got defiled. Every, oh, my, go ahead. Change the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. They broke the everlasting covenant. All right, when you become a faggot, you break the covenant. But it's, every other person's a faggot, man. Like we saw, they're bronies. You know what I'm saying? They fucking watch My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. But it's just really good. Look it up on Urban Dictionary. Get on Urban Dictionary. Look up brony. Mm -hmm. I ain't making this up, man. Get on YouTube. Type in brony. You got actual grown men that, 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 who are in love with My Little Pony and they wear pink t-shirts. <laughs> Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned The earth are burned a few men left so it's like the bible's consistent people try to say all the bible contradicts itself <laughs> the bible never contradicts itself all through the bible it said the same thing many of your most of y'all gonna be destroyed and only a few of you gonna make it ain't that many people gonna get saved the lord's only dealing with a small number of people because only a small number of people are right most people just ain't right what you niggers doing? Got damn neon bikes, glow in the dark bikes. <laughs> Here you go. Deuteronomy the sixth chapter. Much Sticking glow sticks thing. up their ass. Hmm. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments. Now these are the commandments in the Bible, not in the Quran. Okay, not no Constitution or this other dumb shit y'all made up. You going? Which the Lord your power commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. Yep. That thou mightest fear the Lord thy power to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I commanded thee, which I commanded thee, thou and thy son and thy son's sons. Yeah, so you ain't feel like, well, my son, he can believe whatever he wants. He can, you know, he can. My daughter's baby's dad told her that. He can eat pork if he wants to eat pork. Yeah. After I've engaged the motherfucking scriptures, now that's why his life is going to hell. Man, you feel if you feed your children the pork, man, that's evil. That's a that's the most evilest shit I've ever seen. Every little kid I ever seen that ate pork, that nasty. Remember that time a little kid came in our house after he ate some pork and farted? Hey, excuse me, can I ask y'all a place, question? Man. Oh, I remember that. Nasty. Every little kid I see that every little kid I, you see that something that, that all those little children that eat pork they have that defiled look to them. You, you can see that that's evil giving your children pork, man. You should get put to death for that, really. Or you should, you should commit suicide. And you can just tell because they, they you know, that's not natural, man. Little nasty little heathen. Keep going. Which I commanded thee. The, I'm up on one. Yeah, the pork make you stink, man. Like yeah, when a woman eats that pork. And shit. Like all the women that eat pork, and they, they, it, it oozes out their pores. If you eat pork, it makes you smell like shit. And then you get nasty uh, pork secretions coming out your pores. Hey, man. That's 
like that. Look at you, man. Look. These women, man, before the day even half over, their underarms are funky. They done put on deodorant. Yep. And they still get funky as fuck. These niggas too, man. I mean, the gym, man, these motherfuckers don't even... He be fucking up the gym, man. He's stinking like that. I bet you they all eat pork. They all, yeah, they be foul as hell. That makes you stink. Twenty. If you are already a stinky motherfucker, if you eat pork, you're gonna be seven times. Pork, yeah. Let me tell you something, man. I've been two, three days without Sean before, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That ain't that long. I've, I was I've been a breeze. whole year. I, I never try to go the longest. What's up, like Susan? Now, I don't put no foul shit in my body, man. I don't get that bad. I don't get that funky, man. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I go some days, two, three days. I'll get sometimes you be in that spirit. Yeah, I you know what I mean. Sometimes you're on that grizzly shit. You want to get busy? You want to start getting? You want to get grimy and start killing motherfuckers? You just be in that spirit, man. Echo, you know? Sure. Yeah. Sometimes I do just so when I do take a shot, I be nah, extra good. But we're that we, you know? Oh man, look, man, we had a roommate, and she, we lived this. We nobody was dealing with her. She. We didn't have a sex with her, nothing. We was not like that, but she, we had this one with a roommate once, and she lived with us for like a year, two years. I can't remember, but the whole time nobody ever seen her take a shower. She just take the quick, the quick shower in the bathroom, like splashing water on herself or something. Cowboy. Okay, yeah, she just take them a cowboy shower. This is real life talk. You know, cowboy riding the shit. Yeah. Finally, run up on some water. He just get on his knees. Quick one. She used to do that in the back, never to get to take a shower. So what did that pussy smell like? It must have been the most awful smell in the, in the universe. Oh, I bet it's hairy as fuck. No, that hair was kind of I didn't came across this. Nah, this, we got witnesses. I got nausea, I got nausea. I got people who can testify. I got nausea before from a pussy smell, too. Yeah. Especially, yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead, you got more of that? Yeah. Which I commanded thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son. Now all. son's son. So you, oh, oh my fault, oh, keep going. On, on, I'm interrupting you, keep going. And thy son's sons, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord power of thy fathers have promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Here, Lord... And listen, the whole time he's saying Israel, Israel. Israel. He's only talking to Israel. The Lord did not come to save all people. It didn't say hear, O Esau. No, it sure did. The hell didn't say Esau. <laughs> it said Israel. <laughs> hear, O Israel, the Lord, our power is one Lord. It's one Lord, keep going. There's only one God. You got these people like the Egyptian dude last week thought he was an Egyptian. He talking about he worship Osiris and Set and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what's that? All them Egyptian gods. He worship dicks and penises. He said it too. And people into that and in the idol worship. That's idol worship. They into that. <laughs> people, I mean, people actually believe that shit though. I mean, they really exist. Because we said we. I mean, it's common sense to us, because we, I mean, we have the truth. But these people are really retarded. Oh, keep going. And thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So you're supposed to teach a Bible to your children. That's a law in the Bible. But when you go to the public schools in America, they say there's no Bible allowed. And at the same time, they're teaching your children about homosexuality when they're in kindergarten. How fucked up shit is that? And then the number one children's show in America, which is Sesame Street, Elmo is a child molester. He got caught fucking little boys in the ass. That's a fact. Now, America's the most filthiest place on the, on, on, in the universe, man. There's nothing in the whole universe. It's the filthiest place you can find. The filthiest place piece of rock you can find is this shit right here, man. If we're adultery and homosexuals you run around freely, you can worship the devil. You can do whatever you want, except for wor worship the Lord. That's the only thing that's illegal is following the laws of the Bible. Then you're a terrorist and an extremist. Oh, you're, you're a member of a cult. You know what I mean? You're crazy. You have psychological disorder. That's what they tell you. 
They tell you, you got, you got to take some medicine, man. It's like, oh, you don't have Bibles. You get a nigga some medicine. You got more to that? Yeah, I was just looking at this for uh, That front, man, it makes you want, it makes you want to chop someone's head off, man. That we are extreme, too. Y'all can call us extremists. Because the Bible's extreme. I actually have people tell me that, oh, you, you extreme. You're teaching that extreme shit. I'm like, when well, you on that bitch mag shit, man. We ain't coming out here with no soft spirit. Come out with that weak, soft spirit. There's nothing worse than a man with a weak, soft, feeble spirit. A little faggot. You know, little bronies. There's some bronies right there. Speak of the devil. Y'all are bronies? Y'all bronies? Y'all like watching My Little Pony? That's a lot. Bronies. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. He's supposed to teach your children diligently. Not you. So I mean, you're supposed to really go over it with them and test them on it and keep testing, quizzing them. You know what I mean? So you're supposed to pull pop quizzing on your children. Like who's Abraham's son? You know what I'm saying? Just hit him with a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was Abraham's son real quick. Oh yeah, this dead. You gotta get some. I'll be testing my little children. They know about Noah, they know about Cain and Abel, they know all that, man. These little, ask the average little child, he can't tell you who Cain and Abel is. That's like the most basic story a child needs to hear because it's talking about how you deal with your brother. You know what I mean? These children ain't even getting taught that, man. They getting taught, oh, you got it, it's okay, they will chop your dick off, your transvestite. They gonna teach you, give your children sex ed classes in school. What kind of shit is that when they're in kindergarten? I'm not even making this shit up, this is real life. And then you got a, the head of the PTA in some school. I forget what they school. They voted on that past, past that should be unanimous. Yeah. Unanimously. <laughs> and then they got to, yeah, you got to accept. Oh, you can be a homosexual in the Boy Scouts. In the fucking Boy Scouts, you can be a faggot in the Boy Scouts. That's always been going on. You can be a faggot in the Marines. Boy Scout leaders been fucking the Boy Boys for years. That shit been. Oh, yeah, you know this shit. I was in the Boy Scouts, but there was no shit going in the opportunity. <laughs> I can assure you. I got kicked out of the Boy Scouts. What's going on? They, I got kicked out of the Boy Scouts. Like, it's some bullshit, man. Oh, they actually kicked me out. They, 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 they introduced me to it. was a good thing. Yeah, it was probably a good thing. Okay. Yeah. No, I knew everybody in our thing, man. Everybody, most people in our shit were people from the neighborhood. I grew up with a bunch of motherfuckers you would never thought was Actually, you too. probably you probably right. I bet a couple of them. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, I grew up with big niggas that you find out. We we found out in high school yeah, they were faggots. Like the Bellamy's, right. they probably all getting big, plugged in the ass. I, 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 big football yeah, niggas. I believe you. Uh, <laughs> you know? A couple of times, talked to my boys and shit. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. Right, right, right. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. He's about to, he's about to like Indiana Jones' cousin. <laughs> <laughs> he, look, he just got done do, uh, giving a seminar, uh, giving a lecture on some ancient history. And that's Erica Badu's brother. He, yeah, he's going to search for some artifacts. Okay. This is Faggy, who actually next door to the white chick. Now, he was an Edomite. Uh, his, the, his mom was white. He was a chick. She married a nigga. But she had an Edomite before she met this nigga. And he had two more people. This white boy was an Edomite. He had names, and I used to watch niggas in school before he was before he was out of high school. We used to, I used to watch niggas at night come get them, come pick them up. You know what I'm saying? And he died of AIDS. And none of them niggas I don't see no more either. None of them niggas I don't see no more either. Yep. And she about go get AIDS out by her dog. It's all kind of diseases. You in the bestiality? You better be careful. They call cops. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Yeah, they teach your children. It's a, it's a, it happens all day, all day long. It's always a, a teaching experience. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. And you, shalt, yeah, why you spot? When you're watching all these TV shows with your children to all these cartoons, every time you see some faggot shit in a cartoon, you need to tell your kid that, that's some faggot shit. Right here. Oh man, I forgot it. I got shit. 2F, he expands to Felton Lane. <laughs> Yeah, she's a freaky little white bitch. 
probably a jug of lead. Yeah, she probably is a jug of hose. <laughs> Fucking slug. But that's all you gotta deal with. I mean, I say, that's all there is a number of sluts. That's yeah, all that's you got all, to. Yeah. That's all you yeah. got to deal with, man. Yeah, that's a curse. That's so. You can only take Excuse it. me, can I ask you a question? Nah, man. Leave these heaters. Don't fuck with these heaters, man. What you got? You got more than that? And thou shalt write them upon the post, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be a frontlet between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house. Oh, uh, you supposed to write the law on the post of your house. And on the gate. Yeah, and on the gate. I mean, like that one time we printed out, we put, printed out the Ten Commandments, put them on our front door. Oh, dude. That's how you supposed to do it. You supposed to, yeah, take, that's at least the Ten Commandments, put the Ten Commandments on your door. That's how you do it, man. That's hardcore. That's how you supposed to know what I mean? Yes, sir. Because yeah, people will come to your door, why they knocking on your door, why they wait for you? They they gonna read it. Yep. They gonna read it. They sell. They, <laughs> but that's what it's for though. So they can read it. So they get reminded. You give them a reminder. Mm -hmm. Like every time a pizza man come to your house, you got a ten commandments on your front door. Yep. He the ten, pizza man gets some truth. You know what I'm saying? So you know there ain't no games. Even the mailman. The mailman. The mailman right? see it. No a lot of people see it when you do that. You can tell what person. And that puts that, that puts that vi that heavenly vibration out there. You know what I mean? That's a, that's the Holy Spirit vibration. Yeah, yeah. Like, why don't they come up here with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah let, let you know too. If you walk down the street, yeah, you see someone got to take the families. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Most people, are goddamn fact, it's a devil word. They don't believe in the Bible. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to test it. Didn't matter. Oh yeah. Yeah, people try to say the Old Testament don't matter. Got Ten Commandments everywhere. That means you're gonna tell me the Ten Commandments when you gotta follow the Ten Commandments? People are retarded. <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> and it should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I thought, yeah. Well, that's a good point. Your grandma would tell you the law is done away with, but she got the Ten Commandments on her wall. <laughs> what kind of dumbass shit is that? <laughs> they tell you there ain't no law. It, Jesus destroyed the law, baby. <laughs> but she got the Ten Commandments on her wall. People don't make no sense. You know what the Ten Commandments says? You gotta keep the Sabbath. It says you gotta. You can't commit adultery. <laughs> all you hoes <laughs> fail that test. <laughs> Actually, all these men fail that test. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've committed adultery before. Knowingly, I mean not knowingly, but unknowingly. Cause you don't know. Even we have it. You have sex with any woman. Who's already been with somebody? That's adultery, straight up. There's no way around that. That's adultery. I don't care if she was so-called single when she got with you. That you knows. Need the man found oh yeah, oh, it's a mine. Hey, can y'all juggle for us? Y'all gonna do some tricks? Oh, they don't talk. They in silence. They move in silence and violence. I'm down with the clowns. Oh, they're not juggling. They're probably some. Oh, they I know the reason, man, but I respect the video. You should juggle real quick. Oh, yeah. It's like the three ring circus out here. You say you respect Damn. Oh, damn. Uh, damn. <laughs> three delicious You can delicious see that shit in the, in the, in the, in the night time still. There's no excuse. still see the hands. Hey, there's so many women out here. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah. You see. Uh. You see more fine ass hoes up here than anywhere, and they all half naked. None of these women wear clothes, man. So you go crazy when you see all these fat, juicy asses walking down the street. Yeah, a big titty popping out. Like, we like that. I mean, we like it, but we don't like it. You ain't supposed to put it out there like that. Make people go crazy. Personally, I like a little imagination. Right. Because we out here trying yeah, to. They, they, they are. You ain't got to have no imagination. Man, that's all part of the plan, though, because shit like that keep, 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 keep people distracted, man. Exactly. Bitches walk around half naked, you can't even think. See a fat, juicy ass. Yeah, I'm just looking at ass all day like, fuck, I'm going I'm to get that ass There have right been there. times I've been talking to somebody and see a fat, juicy ass and fuck up my whole city. You just forget everything you're <laughs> talking about. <laughs> But if a woman's covered up, you, man, you ain't gonna see all that. All the titties popping out. You can exactly. see the nipples, see the camel toe. Oh, go, that was a good morning description. Baruch 4 and 1. 
This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. So the law endures forever. So the Ten Commandments, you're supposed to keep them, and all the other commandments. You ain't supposed to eat pork. You ain't supposed to eat no shrimp. None of that shit. You ain't supposed to celebrate Christmas. You're not supposed to celebrate Easter. Okay, men are not to shave their beards off their face like little look like little girls. A man's supposed to grow his beard. Only faggots shave their beards off. Okay. I'll keep going. And the law that endureth forever, all they that keep it shall come to life. That shall come to life. Like the Lord, yeah, the Lord said he's the everlasting life. Keep going. But such as leave it shall die. Right, it's like the uh, Proverbs 13 and 13 says, he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. But, no, hold on, hold on. It says, whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. But whoso feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Mm. So if you despise the word, you got a problem, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord's going to kill you. Keep going. Uh, okay. Turn thee, O right right. Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be yeah, you're supposed illuminated. To, yeah, you're supposed to walk in the light, be illuminated. You want some more that Deuteronomy? Yeah, yeah, you can read more of that Baruch. Yeah, it's fire. That whole book of Baruch. You can read the whole book of Baruch. Yeah, so the Lord said we're supposed to be illuminated. Because actually, we're the true Illuminati. Okay? Y'all want to talk about the Freemasons and George Washington. They was in the Illuminati and Adam Weiss House and all this shit. Man, they a bunch of faggots, man. A bunch of devil worshiping faggots. So we're the real, we're, they wasn't illuminated. They're a bunch of devil worshipers. How, how is being a devil worshiper uh, illuminated? Because the scripture said that we're the children of light. That's in Matthew, the fifth chapter. I'm going to get it real quick. Let me get that real quick. Real quick. I just realized on the doodle the Bible down there, that Bible has 666 on the cover. Does it? Probably does, maybe. You see them three lines? That probably represents sixes. Yeah, like, uh, like the barcode. Right. Yeah, all, the, all these designs, everything is satanic. Yeah. Uh, shit. Matthew 5. You know. Alright, hold on, hold on. Matthew 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is... You fucking faggot. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it give a light unto all that are in the house. That is a faggot. You think it's funny? That shit blew my fucking hair out. See, but if you didn't understand, now he's gonna get put to death. I mean, just for just a simple whore honk, got your ass death. That's all it takes, man. That's all it takes. He just sits He did. He disrespect the Lord. So now he's gonna get cold, put to death by tonight. You probably gonna hear someone on the news or some big truck got mangled up with a semi truck. His kids gonna get Yeah, his kids gonna get blown up. His kids, yeah, his kids might get molested and raped. Some sick shit gonna happen to him. I pray, we pray to the Lord. I can't even fucking hear it. That shit was loud as fuck. That shit was loud. Let me, let me the whole purpose of that loud horn was to be disturbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disturb exactly. people. Yeah. That's the whole purpose of that horn. That's why he got it. So he, he can oh, be, he, oh, he some people make it a They in Malaway and you still hear that oh, shit. He, 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 and he'd be surprised too if we just put him to death on the spot. He'd be shocked. Oh, why are you doing this? Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm shocked. Fucking, I'm deaf for life now, faggot. There's just a lot of death that's coming, man. The Lord's going to pour out his vengeance. That's why the... Yeah, that cup. Yeah, that cup. 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 That cup that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. <laughs> so the point that I just want to make, so if you illuminated, if you illuminate, uh, you can't see that light if your ass is trapped inside a building. You, how, how, nobody can even see that light, eh? you know what I mean? 
you supposed to let your light shine out here means you supposed to be out here teaching. We are supposed to be out here teaching the truth. But we like a lamp, right? This right here is like a lamp. Well, with a bunch of oil in it, you know what I mean? We are we are burning with a oh, we a lamp post. We like a street light, you know what I'm saying? Plenty of oil that we ain't sharing with two thirds. Watchman Tower. Yeah, Watchman Tower. We street lights. Not by honor to another, nor the things that are profitable to be to a strange nation. Yeah, so the Bible, look, the Lord ain't dealing with all these heathen nations. That's why you can't give a heathen the truth. That's why we don't waste our time trying to teach heathens, man. Lord tell the heathen his name. One, I mean, we test the spirits to see if they're heathen or not. And once we know they're heathen, we treat them like a heathen, man. time uh, teaching the Bible to women too. You know, you're wasting your time. They're not going to get none of it. They're not, not going to retain nothing. They're not going to remember no dates you taught them. They ain't, you know what I'm saying? They're going to they remember, man. They don't, it's not for them. The only thing you can do to a woman is just, just have sex with her. That's what she's for. Uh, keep going. <laughs> oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing the most high are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the more memorial of Israel. You are sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high to wrath. Yeah, that's talking about Yeah, that's talking about slavery. So the reason, the ultimate reason why y'all was put in slavery is because the most high said if you break my commandments, you're gonna go into slavery. That's a punishment, man, for being a fucking demon, being a hero. Being an adulterer, an adulterer. Is that more than that? Ye were sold to the nations for your for your destruction, not for your destruction, but because you knew the most high of wrath, you were delivered unto the enemy. And, that, and that's why y'all gonna get destroyed in this uh, nuclear destruction that's coming up. You moved the most high to anger. Now he's gonna fuck you up, man. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, sacrificing and not to the most high. Sacrificing to the devils. When you celebrate Christmas, that's a sacrifice to the devil. You no, know, actually, leave us sacrifice out. They leave out cookies for Santa Claus. What is that? Was that an offering? Just story you just told me about that. There was people was coming out from the ground, coming out, they hid under the statue or whatever. Old dude laid dust or ashes. That's a bell and a dragon. dragon. Yeah, that's a bell and a dragon. Christmas is like the number one devil worshiping holiday. It was doing that shit for years too. It looked good, preacher and his family. If I knew uh, Daniel was the he, he he was like, hold up now, so I'm laughing. Like, hold up. Right, right. I got those footprints right there. Right. Yeah. And he saw many different kinds of footprints. Oh, yeah. But how stupid they, they tell you how stupid they were. The heathen. That's Only the heathen will believe that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the heathens, though, man. The heathens do some weird shit, man. You see the one heathens, they put them giant things on their dicks and the big pump. What the fuck is that? They walk around. They walk around with big giant cones on their dicks. <laughs> and then the woman put rings around her neck. Stretching her neck. Neck. Yeah, that's yeah. Bitch, had a go-go gadget neck. And they can't take them off or they're done. Yeah, that shit been on so damn long. How yeah. stupid is that, man? That's just dumb as shit. Yeah, and I was stuck. So for ye provoked him that like, made you by goddamn Muslim. Look, it's like we in Saudi and fucking Arabia, man. I'm not playing. It's like the Muslims is on the rise over here, man. Motherfuckers be jakes too. Alright, let a lot of do be jakes. It's, but they caught up in the heathen way. But there's more. But there's more. There's more and more Muslims than ever right now, man. I mean, I, there's like millions of them. They just everywhere. Like ten years ago, man. Even three years ago, I didn't see this many Muslims. Now they everywhere. Every I, you, every other bitch almost got a, uh, a damn thing on her head. There's millions of them up there here from Michigan. They ain't from I believe it. They, they, they got their own uh, town. Like all these Somalis. And everybody knows Somalians stink. 
they in foul people. But y'all, but they still let them into the country. You know what I mean? I tell you, this is a heathen nation, man. If there's, if there's heathens everywhere, I tell you, it's a heathen nation. Oh, you got more there? For ye, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and you have breathed Jerusalem that nursed you. Yes, yeah, so all these fools out here, they forgot their power. Keep going. For when she saw the wrath of the Most High coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, the Most High have brought upon me great mercy. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting power brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. <laughs> Let no man they rejoice said. over me. Uh, yeah, keep going. That's true. They whittled and forsaken the many, for the sins of my children have left desolate, because they departed from the law of the Most High. So that's why if you depart from the law of the Most High, you're going to be left desolate. You're going to be destroyed. I don't really like the motherfuckers part of the thing in Satan's camp. Like, it's like a, a, a play there in the middle of a play or something. Sure. For I saw the captivity! It don't even sound right when they be reading, man. Yeah, they're active. I gotta turn the videos on. I literally yeah. can't take that shit, man. You can tell. You can't, can't take it, man. Yeah, because they fake as hell. Like, Keep it pushing, homie. What the fuck? Keep that shit pushing. Here goes your homie. Yeah, you can't take it, man. Look, he got the fish. Yeah, fish. Dagon, the fish guy. Dagon, the fish guy. He on the back too. Oh, oh, oh he had a cross on his hey, antenna he too. He, 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 he always come out here. What the hell is this guy doing? The fish, the fish. Dagon, the god period. Dude. That dude's on some acid or something. He be listening to some yeah, crazy ass music every time he comes by. Same damn time. Like he in Police Academy when they went to Miami. West right here. Thanks, man. A brony. Look at his pants. That's a brony for sure. Yes. Urkel's cousin. There you go, Urkel. What's up, Urkel? Did I do that? That's, that's Kanye. You that's catch Kanye. my little pony today? You a brony? He's a brony. This nigga is dumb. What the fuck is he wearing, man? That's a fag. That's not a fag. What the fuck? I'm homosexual. He's like, I'm busted. They call me a brony. That shit, that shit is unacceptable, man. This guy gets still on him. I got booty from his mama last night. Still on him. That makes you a dog. Yeah, it's a dog tree. Oh, it's a dog Jeremiah 30, 23. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goes forth with fury and continue a continuing whirlwind. A continuing whirlwind. It's the fury of the Lord right here. So the, it said the Lord was furious. It said the Lord's coming back to spread love, man. Keep going. It shall fall with pain. With pain. Upon the head of the wicked. There's going to be a lot of pain, all right? There's going to be uh, uh, gnashing of teeth. Keep going. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return. The fierce anger of the Lord. He goes until he have done it. That's right, boy. Well, ain't gonna be no call 911. Yeah, they, they, they gonna be no 911. Ain't nobody gonna be able to stop this man. <laughs> and until he have performed the intent of his heart in the later days. Well, we're the, we the last days right now. He shall consider it. Yep. Oh, yeah, they're going to consider it. At the last damn minute. They, yeah, because they ain't going to do it. They all Jeremiah is fire. If you look at the person out of Israel, the best description for person out of Israel is Jeremiah. What's the name in, in, in Exodus? No, no I, mean, all uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's all Ezekiel. Uh, uh, Ezekiel. Oh, yeah, because the, pro yeah, the prophets are coming through and saying, look, Y'all gonna be destroyed if you don't listen. Oh, what's that one scripture where the most high told one of the prophets to wear, he told him to wear a net 
and something over his head and go tell the people pretty much what they keep cutting up this is your reward. He had a sack over his head, you know what I'm talking about? I can't think of it. He told him to go to him for a, 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 a sack over his head and like some, uh, like some chain or you know, something over his body. And I think that is a secret. He pretty much said, he told him right there, that motherfucker was going to get hauled up in the state. He made it, uh, yeah, he made prophets do some crazy stuff. Yeah, when I read that, I was like, damn, man, that. So he said, go over a, a, a potato sack, like over your head. Go get yourself uh, some, some chains on or something like that over his body. I'm like, man, that's big, man. You got more, uh, Israel stupid. Israel thought that they could just keep on sacrificing. They thought they could keep on sacrificing shit day after day after day. Because they go with, they were planning to look at that shit. Jeremiah 30 and 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in the book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers and they shall possess it. Yeah, it's talking about soon when we get out of here, the kingdom comes. The Lord destroys America. You go on. And these are the words that the Lord spoke concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Oh yeah, because when America's going to be destroyed, we ain't going to be living here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be in the kingdom. We're going to be in Jerusalem. You go on. It's like Bruce For Lee. thus says the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and fear and not of peace. And not of peace. See, People always want to say the Lord's all about peace and love. You know, God is love. Just they come up and they'll say, "Guy, stop, stop." God is love, and they'll come up and try to give us a hug. And it happens all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Read that again, man. <laughs> For thus says the Lord: We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And not of peace. Ain't gonna be no peace. The Lord said in Matthew 10 and 34 that He came to bring the sword. He ain't came to bring peace. Hold that, hold that. Uh, what you got? Isaiah 48 and 22, the simple. There is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. There's no, that's that's uh, yeah, plain yeah, right yeah. there. Plain ain't no, ain't no peace to the wicked. But why? The wicked, they, they gonna, uh, they gonna reap what they sow, man. What you got more to that? Yeah. All right, time uh, you, gonna, you gonna tell me the Lord is not gonna punish a faggot? He's not gonna kill an adulterer? He's not gonna put a he ain't gonna put a murderer to death. Are you serious? You ain't getting away with none of that shit, man. Yeah. Jeremiah 30 and uh, 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? Oh yeah. All these, all these men are like a bunch of faggots, man. They got, they got a soft spirit. They got a womanly spirit on them. Yeah, when shit go down, they be like women. They, they like, yeah, they already like women. You seen that faggot walking down the street? With them tight ass pants. Everybody wearing tight ass pants. All these men wearing pink shirts, looking like faggots. And everybody's cool with it. It's cool to be a faggot now. I'll uh, keep going. As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Y'all, yeah, y'all gonna be turning. People gonna turn white as a ghost. That's like, really? Yeah, you, your countenance gonna fail your ass. Just like when you watch a cartoon. When you watch a cartoon, when a cartoon characters get scared, their eyeballs pop out. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? The rabbit eyes. Yeah, that tongue will drop like. Turn completely white. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna get fucked up, man. 
That's how it's going. It's going to be worse than that. I mean, they, they, they going to be terrified, man. You know? A loss for that day is great. A day, that's talking about a day the Lord is great. You know? So that none is like it. And none going to be like it. It's going to be the most magnificent day ever. <laughs> magnificent for us and bad for two thirds and the heathens. Uh, it is even the time of Jacob, Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off that neck and will burst that bond. That yoke is still heavy. Yeah, we see right now. Right. Like they got that, uh, they got a tax for everything. Everything you do, you get taxed. They take half your paycheck out of taxes before you even get it. Yeah, I'm paying two, I'm paying New Albany taxes and Brentwood County taxes. And now they're about, work out there. And now they about to hit you with that Obamacare. That's an, another oh, bill. Wow. That's gonna really break, break your ass. Then child support. Child oh, child support. This man, you can't even live, man. It's impossible. It's impossible to live. That's why not, people, most people they they ain't even no truth. They too busy trying to figure out how they gonna eat and live. Oh yeah, I call the child support. Still, uh, I call still, the child support yeah. is the day. Uh, telling how wicked their system was and all that bullshit. Had to wipe this on the speechless. I mean, yeah, the wicked ass system. And you want to get done in too for being a part of it. Hell uh, yeah. Anybody that supports this shit gets put to death, man. Simple plan. If you, if you support this wicked ass system, and you support the devil, and you on the side of the Satan, you're going you gonna to die. You know? For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts that I will break his yoke from off thy neck yes, and will burst thy bonds. <laughs> and yes. strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Yeah, because all we do is serve. We servants here. Ain't, ain't nothing, no, hardly no Israelites got their own business. All these heathens have businesses. Uh, it's all the Israelites, no, we all working for someone else. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But, you, uh, yeah, you making millions of dollars for someone else. Just like you hear all these, uh, these Multi, these presidents of these multi-million dollar corporations, or all these presidents of these banks, we're when the government bailed out the banks. But here it is that they need to bail out, but still the presidents is making millions and millions of dollars. And here we go right back into the same situation again. Yeah, how you going they gonna give, what kind of sense does that make? If you need to bail out so bad, why are you getting paid fucking three, uh, 30 million dollars or something? That don't make no sense. You going? But they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king. I got another question too. How the hell is America supposed to be the most powerful country on earth? But who the hell do, are we getting all of our money from? Why are we borrowing? Now we, you know, America. I ain't trying to clam. I'm part of this shit. How come America's always borrowing money? Who they borrowing this money from? To, to, to supply enough money for a whole, the greatest, so-called greatest country. Yeah, ain't that what, that's what we're coming up on. They want to raise the debt limit. Yeah, they want to, the debt limit to who? If you was the greatest country, why, why would you be borrowing money from anybody? If you're so great. Who are you borrowing it from? Yeah, who's it coming from? Nobody even knows. Right. What, all, all them rich ass we bankers? Know. Yeah, we know. Yeah, Esau, the motherfucking Jews, them fake Jews. So I guess that cuts out these motherfuckers that are billionaires. The United States is in trillions of debt. So I guess that, and that debt, that's trillionaires walking around. That's more proof that it's not a free country. Right. How can America be a free country if they have uh, trillions of dollars in debt? That don't make no sense. Trillions. You're not free. you de indebted to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now you owe somebody that much money. If it, you're not running shit. Whoever you owe that money to, they running hey, shit. Hey, that's that thick clay. Yeah. That's that thick clay. Let me read this real quick. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Daughter of Edom. That That's dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself yeah. naked. So he want to turn the whole world into a prison planet and put everybody in slavery under martial law? That's right. You're going to get it 20 times first. That's right. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished Oh, daughter of Zion. Yeah, and this slavery's gonna last a long time too, man. All them, all them, uh, all them 
banking, all, all these people that print all that money, all these banking families, all them fake Jews, they're going to serve hardcore slavery. It should happen. You can't escape it. You can't go hide out in a mountain up in Switzerland. You can't escape it. We will hunt you out every rock and every hole. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. That's talking about in the kingdom, because we ain't going to be in slavery no more. We ain't going to be under this wicked ass system no more. He will discover thy sins. Yeah, so, the, so Esau's sins, they getting discovered right now. We come out here teaching this word. Yeah, but you got more to get Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30 and 12. For thus says the Lord, that bruise is incurable. That bruise, that, that bruise is incurable. <laughs> and it, uh, yeah, these fools are bruised, ain't they? Oh, yeah, that's that guy. You bruised if you got some gonorrhea. That's like a bruised fruit. It's good for nothing. No, no, we want that, no bruised fruit. And that wound is grievous. Hey, it's a very grievous wound. The burning sensation, boy. Oh, and, really, and, and really, that's talking about that destruction that's yeah, coming, that's right. actually. That's right. That's really, that's, right. The, that's talking about those damn missiles. <laughs> there is none to plead that cause. Ain't nobody going to help you. When, that, when the day of the Lord comes, nobody's going to help you. You're just going to be destroyed. You're going to die. You're going to get punished for your, for your sins and your crimes. You going? Yeah. yeah. That thou mayest be bound up. Thou has no healing medicine. <laughs> now you can't handle a missile. Uh, uh, yeah, once you disintegrate by yeah, missiles, you don't be able to pop no ibuprofen, boy. Oh, you know, and Bill. Yeah. Percocet. That's, that's like Humpty Dumpty. They gonna put Humpty Dumpty back together again. You know? yeah, yeah. Crazy yeah. glue. Oh yeah, all the king's horses and all the king's men. And that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Whoever yeah. came up with that was a Jake. Came up with Humpty Dumpty. They had to be. It's like came up with that shit. Doing, doing something oh yeah. They said they could that's a really like a prophecy. A humpty you can't put that back there, you destroy it. Ain't no putting it back together. No keys. <laughs> you can't fix it. Oh, oh.